If you've been to college or if you're currently enrolled in one, then you're probably familiar with Rate My Professor. I look, I do look at Rate My Professor before I um, sign up for a class and register for a class. Pretty much every semester, just to check out like what the different professors are like for each class offering. I mean, I definitely use it. But I um, take everything that I read with a grain of salt just because I know that... When it comes to reviewing anything, not necessarily just people, like any sort, any sort of product, um, you know, there are always going to be a lot of positive reviews. Sometimes there may be a few negative reviews. I don't know if the re like, reviews are entirely accurate. You know, people who are going to actually write stuff for my professor are really angry or like really excited about their professors. But in my experience of using it, I found it to be pretty useful, especially considering because... Um, Just to see what the professors are like, get other people's input. It helps keep things organized a lot more for me. It is a great like resource to use, and I wish I had known about it as a freshman, but um, I would take everything that you read with a grain of salt. Again, it's a necessity, which I have to, I have to you know, use it in a, to some degree. But I use it kind of just says a little bit. I don't rely on it, but I definitely take its input. Yeah, just definitely like taking everything with a grain of salt. So it seems that Rate My Professor is useful for students to see in advance what a professor is like. Presumably, this information is helpful for students in finding the right professor, which is to say, to match characteristics of a professor to the characteristics of a student. And presumably, this is helpful for a student in achieving his or her educational goals. I imagine, especially for first and second year college students, that selecting a class is a nerve-wracking experience. After all, a student doesn't know what a professor will be like, and that creates a state of anxiety. So I imagine that Rate My Professor is helpful to diminish that sort of anxiety for some students. That being said, I can appreciate that this sort of resource is available to students. Information in general allows us to make more informed decisions and judgments. However, consider the following. Just like most students don't know in advance what their professor is like, neither will the professor know in advance what their students are like. So. To put the question bluntly, should there be a Rate My Student website? Here are some reasons why it might be a good idea. Unless the student has taken his or her class before, a professor doesn't know what sort of learner the student is. For example, she doesn't know whether the student learns at a very high level and therefore needs to be challenged because the subject matter may be too easy, or whether the student learns at a lower level and therefore needs more supplementary materials and attention from the professor. Furthermore, it's possible that this sort of public rating system could provide students with additional motivations to do well. For example, future employers often have no good idea about the character or habits of a job applicant, and the ratings given by a professor could make a crucial difference to the impression an employer might have before the interview even begins. There may be other and better reasons for a Rate My Student website. It might provide more transparency, and that seems to be a virtue today. It might also give students more control over their online identity. But that's the case for Rate My Student. As always, thank you for your kind attention. Take care.